So here it is, the final tire update of the Shinko 777 on the back of my Lowrider ST. Uh, this tire is about down to the wear bars. Let's find one. The TWI, the treadwear indicators, is one right there. Uh, let's see here. There's another one right there. I don't know if you can see there or not, but take my word for it. It's there. Uh, there's probably about 500 miles left in this before it actually got down to the wear bars, uh, but I have a big trip coming up next week, so we're swapping out the tire now. As you can see, it still held pretty good shape. I'm a big fan of the curves, so there's still lots of leaning going on with this on a regular basis. Um, to give you the answer, it lasted right about 6,000 miles to this point, which is right about the same amount that the Michelin Scorchers that came on this bike from the factory lasted. So, obviously, that's the same rider. That's the same riding style. I am pretty heavy on the throttle. Uh, and I do like sawing in and out of it on the curvy roads and stuff. So, you might actually get more life out of the back tire if you just did highway or stuff. Or Depends on how you ride. No burnouts. No wheelies. Uh, not while I'm making payments on the bike, at least. The tires cost too much to do burnouts on. So, uh, all in all, I would say this, this is a pretty good tire. Uh, I still have the Shinko 777 on the front. Um, but yeah, five stars out of me as far as bang for the buck. Costs less than the Scorcher and uh, lasts just as long. Honestly, I think it stuck a wee little bit better in the turns and it was really, really solid in the rain. Uh, there was at time, there was times even in hard downpours, I'd catch myself doing 80 going down the highway. The only reason I slowed down because of common sense and general concern for my well-being the bike was still planted and going straight. Not saying you try to go 80 miles an hour in downpour, but I did it with these tires. And it was pretty good. So, you know, there's that. So, uh, going to move on to the next tire. And, uh, yeah, we'll do reviews on that. Compare that one to the original Michelin uh, Scorcher and the Shinko 777. So, check out the playlist for this. So let's look at this for comparison. Uh, compared to the, Scor the Michelin Scorcher, which was the stock one, uh, I think in the rain, the Shinko was a little bit better. Um, as far as stick in the corner goes, the Shinko may have been a tad bit better, but it's kind of hard to say on that one. Uh, they were close, so I just gave them both an 8. Uh, life, they both lasted about 6,000 miles. So, they're about the same in that perspective. Now, if we move the overall comparison, bang for the buck, you just can't beat the fact that the Shinko 777 was half the price of the Michelin Scorcher. Or almost half the price. Somewhere in there. Uh, so it definitely gets a little bit higher score on that. So we gave the Shinko an 8. While the Michelin has a 7. Uh, just because bang for the buck. Man, you can't beat that Shinko. Uh, so next up we have the Pirelli Night Dragon GTs. So stay tuned to this playlist and we'll see how all that pans out.